Every team in the league dedicates one game during the season to recognize those affected by cancer. The team shows their support by wearing purple warm-up sweaters, using purple stick tape, and having a special guest for the honorary puck drop. This year, John Klingberg invited Brody Nelson to be the guest of honor at Hockey Fights Cancer Night. This young Stars fan has a lot of heart and a lot of fight. And he's inspiring everyone with his selfless compassion for those fighting the same fight he is. This is Brody Nelson. He's a hockey fan, especially of the Dallas Stars. Every year for his birthday, instead of having a birthday party, he likes to get Stars tickets and, and go to a, to a Stars game instead of having a birthday party. I mean, he gets really excited when they when they score. I mean, really the whole game. He, he cheers louder than probably anybody in there. You just can't hardly hear him because <laughs> he's a little guy. He's also a fan of Legos and making new friends. And because of a rare opportunity, one of Brody's newest friends is a defenseman for the Dallas Stars. For me, sitting on the side, obviously, I got to spend a lot of time with him watching practice. And I got to say, he, he was a real funny guy. Uh, he got a lot of jokes. And uh, uh, you can just tell he was enjoying himself with his dad there. And that's, that's what you want, right? John Klingberg started Klinger's Kids last year as a way to give back to young children in the community battling various illnesses and diseases. Getting to see the guys up close and uh, not in their full pads and helmets and getting them to watch them come by and uh, wave and say hi and stuff, it was uh, really neat. While Brody enjoyed getting to meet the Stars players and watch them take on the Columbus Blue Jackets that night, it put smiles on Ty and Courtney's faces to see the old Brody again after a long and difficult 11 months of watching him battle the unimaginable. Well, we found out in January, he had no symptoms going into uh, January 8th. When we, my wife and I went to wake him up that morning, he didn't wake up. Um, we couldn't get him to respond, so we called a, an ambulance, and he was rushed to Cook Children's where they discovered um, that there was a uh, plum-sized tumor in his brain. He immediately went into uh, emergency brain surgery. Uh, he was in there for almost 12 hours uh, where they removed what they said was 99% of the tumor. When we did the follow-up MRI after that, we found out it didn't work and the tumor had come back. Brody's parents were told there was nothing left for them to do, but they wouldn't accept no as an answer. After Brody qualified for a new trial treatment at a different hospital, Ty and Courtney prayed they had found their answer. Luckily, St. Jude had kept testing on the tumor and found a TRK mutation in the tumor. So we started that trial in June when we had our first MRI in August. On that, we found out it was almost completely gone. He is the strongest kid I know. Um, and not only to fight, but he hasn't, he doesn't complain. Um, kids are a lot stronger than we give them credit for. Um, and so yeah, to, to, I would say he strength. Um, in all aspects of it. When you meet Brody, you wouldn't be able to tell he was battling cancer. He has a contagious energy. We can probably take one with Shore, too. Right. Group shot. Is it okay if we all get in together? Yeah. All right, absolutely. Here we go. He even has a big smile and an even bigger heart. And the Dallas Stars thought he would be the perfect person to drop the puck on Hockey Fights Cancer Night. Would you please help us welcome incredible emotional um he's had a hard 11 months um and so to get to let him see how many people care and you know people that he's known his entire life and then strangers that he will probably never meet um and just to see that people care about kids like brody the stars even took it one step further but this selfless and charitable idea wasn't thought up by the team. It was all Brody. We did the 
the walk for St. Jude in Fort Worth uh, a couple months ago, and he, we had a team that raised money, and he raised money individually. But when we told him how much at the event, how much money he had raised by himself, he, his first initial response was, wow, that would buy a lot of Legos for the kids at St. Jude. Brody, what he kind of said is, you know, just a little joke almost, um, has turned into an absolutely incredible opportunity for him um, to give back just a little bit. So the stars helped spread the word about Brody's initiative of bringing Legos to other children fighting cancer. They set up a Lego drop-off at the American Airlines Center during the Hockey Fights Cancer game for people to donate unopened boxes of Legos. And the turnout was heartwarming. Well, obviously, I think it's amazing. He's just 10 years old, uh, and he's just thinking about giving back to other kids, going through the same stuff. Uh, for me, that was a lot of joy to see him getting a lot better, and obviously for, for him getting back to the other kids as well. Cancer doesn't discriminate on who it decides to affect. But at just 10 years old, Brody is a bright light in the face of darkness. He's inspiring everyone around him to keep fighting. And for those who are fighting this battle with him, you're not alone.